the first thing people always say is, oh my God, can you spin on your head? I listen to you sometimes, and it's like, I can't believe some of the stuff that comes out of your mouth. You're, you're a very intelligent man, and uh, a lot of people really need to listen to what you say. I like that you've expanded your format a little bit. You're not just some hack pundit out there on either side, just repeating talking points. I'm 32, no kids, never been married, was in a horrible relationship, DTB. Now I got three of them in the bullpen. I'm handling it, like it style. I didn't know about your show until after we were married, and then when I heard it, I started laughing because he followed all of your stuff with T. I'm thrilled about the whole Guy Ritchie thing. I want him to get as much money as possible. And more than anything, I'd like him to win back the uh, British accent that she has. Because of you, I got no woman pregnant. Every time I have sex, I wear a condom. I never waste any more emotion in women than necessary. They're completely useless and they strive away from my actual career goals. And because of you, I realize that and I want to personally thank you for that. The women are just squirrels trying to get to the nuts, you know? Just whatever it takes. <laughs> well, well, I got my... <laughs> by the way, anyone who wants to do that, any of you squirrels out there, my nuts are right here. <laughs> You foggy, keep that jelly tight. Don't let her see that I don't want to show up to a Halloween party and see fat, overweight peppers. What do you think of the muffin tops, Christian? <laughs> anyway, There's nothing I'm there. Out. By the way, by the way, the ultimate combination is a muffin top with camel toe. <laughs> you sluts, you horse. <laughs> From Hollywood. I got mad skills. It's the Tom Likas Show. Too cool. And now. And now. Here he is. Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's Friday. Wide open telephones on the Tom Likas Show. Anything goes here, anything at all. We can talk about anything we discussed on the air this week, anything you think we should have talked about. It's all here for you. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Rick on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Mr. Likas. Yes, sir. Thank you for taking my call. You are a voice of reason in an unreasonable world. Thank you. I um, wanted to just talk to you real quick. Uh, obviously, the... Banks have made a lot of bad choices as far as who they've loaned to their lending practices in the past here, and that's sort of all coming coming home to roost now. But something that people aren't talking a whole bunch about is all the credit card debt that's out there. Um, there's a lot of people with a lot of credit card debt. Obviously, there's a lot of commercials on your station there telling people how to get out of it. But how is this going to affect us for the next year or so? Is this going to help slow down our economic regrowth? from what you see? Well, uh, the credit card debt has been out there for years. And um, uh, certainly uh, it's an issue. Uh, and if the uh, recession continues and unemployment continues to rise, uh, there's going to be not only unpaid mortgages, there's going to be unpaid credit cards. Yeah, I can't see it getting better. And uh, I know quite a few people that are you know, borrowing to help make their mortgage payments and... You know, it, it's sort of real day-to-day -day form, and it kind of really worries me about how I've got my money invested. I went ahead and pulled out about three months ago and put all my 401k stuff in stable value. Right. But uh, I can't see jumping in anytime soon, the way, the way things are looking now. Well, uh, my recommendation, as I continue to say, is if you've got all your money out of the mutual funds, you should be investing... Um, in a dollar cost averaging very small amounts on a regular basis because yeah. prices are down. They may go down further. And the time to buy stocks or mutual funds is when prices are down, not when they're up. Yeah, no, it's a great time to buy. It's just it's going to take a wizard to figure out uh, when we're going to hit the true bottom, I guess. Well, this is, uh, let's face it, uh, this is the time that you have to have a steel stomach. But uh, the fact is that uh, this is how rich people get rich. Uh, true enough. 
All right, Mr. By Rocket the way, Rocket I should Rocket. tell you one more thing before you go. Uh, we had a stock market crash in 1987. It was not as bad as 1929, but it was pretty bad. And more millionaires and billionaires were made in the aftermath of that. Oh, I, uh, I benefited from the aftermath myself. I bought a house right around 91 there when the values of everything were really down. And uh, obviously it isn't worth what it was, but it, it was a good time to buy. Yeah, it sure. I mean, I bought a house in the L.A. real estate market in 1997 at the, at the bottom. And uh, my house is worth at least two, three, four times what I paid for it. Oh, exactly. All right. Well, yeah, I appreciate your time, and uh, you're doing the Lord's work out there. I appreciate it, man. Rick, thank you for that. Zach on the top, like his show. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hey, uh, you know, I'm Angelino, and I'm voting November 4th. Um, but I'm not too, uh, I don't know too much about the local local elections, and I heard you mention the, the guy with the hyphenated name. Right, Mark, uh, Mark Ridley <laughs> Thomas. Thumbs down. Yeah, I was wondering if you can give me the history on that guy and how he kept uh, the football team from coming to L.A., because... Uh, after hearing that, you know, I was a big L.A. Raiders fan, and ever since he left, I've been waiting for a team for L.A. Well, because a number of people have tried to uh, bring uh, stadium plans to fruition, uh, most notably uh, Peter O'Malley, the former owner of the Dodgers, wanted to build a football stadium at Chavez Ravine, right next to Dodger Stadium, uh, was shot down by Mark Ridley Thomas and his ilk. Uh, then uh, the, the folks who own Stable Center, uh, AEG, uh, uh, they wanted to build a football stadium in the South Park area, and clearly they felt some political pressure, it seems, and backed down. Uh, Mark Ridley Thomas has uh, steadfastly stood by using the Coliseum for the NFL, no matter what, because it was in his district. And the NFL doesn't want to play at the Coliseum, period, as you now see. Yeah, it's kind of a, it's kind of a dump. Yeah, but Mark Ridley, uh, Mark Ridley Thomas insisted, and it is the reason that we do not have NFL football today in Los Angeles. He is the reason. All right. Well, so so you say vote for, uh, was it Bernard Parks? Bernard Parks. And that's city supervisor? Uh, county supervisor. County supervisor? Yes. All uh, right. Um, thanks for the education. And uh, I listen to your show every day. I really like uh, everything, you know, everything you say is uh, is pretty much right on. And I was wondering if you came out with the bong rip. Because I need one, and I'm about to get off work and take the real one. <laughs> I, need, I, I, need, I just need to hear it. You know, I, I, I get get you uh, greased up here. Well, we certainly certainly could do that. <laughs> Robert on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, what's going on, Tom? Not much. Hey, I had a comment about unions and the election. Yeah. Um, I, I belong to the electricians union right. and pretty much what they do, they, they get a, like, it's a big meeting and they, they tell you like, vote for Obama, vote for this proposition, vote for this, vote for that. Pretty much kind of like brainwashing you into voting for their way, you know? Right. And, uh, there's, there must've been like a thousand Obama stickers saying like IBEW votes for Obama and pretty much, I think like the, the, what was it? The advertisements you see? Yeah. Uh, they're saying this union supports this. I think that's pretty much just like uh, like the top people are pretty much saying that, you know? Uh, like the actual union, like the workers, they, they really mix opinions, you know? Well, I'm sure and, that's true. So what? Uh, did you have a question about that? No, I just wanted to let you, let, let you know that uh, it's not just, uh, it's not like a, it's pretty much one-sided thing, you know? What's a one-sided thing? Oh, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm I mean, nervous. unions are going to try to get you to vote for people that they think will uh, be in the best interest of unions. Yeah, yeah, I see that. But yeah. but when you're in the voting booth, they don't know who you're voting for. You can vote for whoever you like. Yeah, I know. I know. I just thought I'd let you know when people see, like, this union supports this, it's like... Most Usually people... it's a union that's hoping they're not going to have layoffs or they're hoping they're going to hire more people. And they uh, think that that politician is going to protect their jobs. Yeah. Yeah. It's that simple. Yeah, that's how I feel. But my, by the way, my dad was a union guy. Uh, my dad was the unit manager of the newspaper guild in New York City. I, I know all about this stuff. Oh, really? Cool. Yeah, you know a lot about a lot. <laughs> well, I've been around. <laughs> all right, cool. Thanks, Tom. Can you take me out with the bong rip? Yes, Robert, I can.
Tom. Uh, Tom Likas. 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. It's the Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show with wide open telephones on this Friday at 1 800 5800 Tom. That's our telephone number. Here's Angel on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. I love you. Really? Yeah, I do. I listen to you every day for about six, seven years now. And um, I just wanted to ask you what you think about Sarah Palin spending $150,000 on clothes. Well, keep in mind uh, that money came from the Republican National Committee. I know. So the contributors, uh, really, they're the ones you should ask. Uh, Fortunately, it wasn't taxpayer money. It wasn't my money. Right. As a taxpayer, I'd be more concerned about all the free trips she took, uh, along with her kids and staying in the Ritz-Carlton and other expensive hotels. And all the clothes and the makeup. It's just crazy. Yeah. And I'm so upset about it, and I just wanted to know your opinion, because, you know, I love you. You're like God to me. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Unbelievable, Angel. But, uh, yeah, the, the money came from the Republicans. If that's how they want to spend their money, well, then go ahead. I read today, by the way, uh, I, I don't know how this information got out, but there apparently is a list of the staff salaries on the John McCain for President 2008 committee. Right. And um, who is the highest paid person on the McCain Palin staff? Is it John McCain's uh, advisor on foreign policy? No. Is it uh, you know his campaign manager? No. Is it the poll uh, the guy in charge of polling, like the research guy? No. Number one expense. This is absolutely true. Sarah Palin's makeup person. Yeah, I believe it. It's insane, and I hope it's another reason not to vote for them. I mean, well, again, you know, this is this is the priorities. Uh, th- yeah. These are the priorities. Uh, there you go. It's a circus, and it's another crazy woman, and I hope people realize that. Thank you so much, Angel. I love you. <laughs> Anytime you want to come down and show me, my door is always open. <laughs> Maybe I will. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Thanks for the call. Here's Nate on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. Hey, I'm I'm wondering if you could help me out with a little something. I'm having some buddies over later tonight, and I wanted to impress them with uh, some single malt scotch knowledge. I mean, I don't know much about it myself. Well, what do you want to know? Well, what is what's the right brands to get? I mean, I well, know about the right brands to get are probably more than you want to spend. Okay, I mean, how much are you willing to spend to get a great bottle? I'm willing to spend. 50, 60 bucks. Yeah, see. Possible to get a single mile for 50, 60 uh, you, bucks. Well, you're not, you're not going to get a 750 milliliter bottle for that price. You're not. Uh, the, the kind of uh, scotch you're looking for goes for about 180 bucks a bottle. 180 bucks. That wow. is correct. Well, you want single malt scotch. I mean, there's a reason they, they got scotch and green bottles, if that's what you can afford. And you go down to Walgreens and pick that up. Or if you want single malt scotch, you got to pay for it. All right. There is one that I think is fantastic, the best I ever had, and you can get it at a reasonable price. When I say reasonable, maybe you get it for one hundred sixty. You get it at beverages and more. Okay, what's the name of that it's one? Called, I'll write it down. It's called Brook Lottie. It's impossible to spell. Uh but if you go to that glass case with the lock on it at, at, at any of the Bevmos, uh it's Brook Lottie. All right. And uh it is the it is absolutely the best Scotch whiskey I ever 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 had ever now, when you drink scotch you don't do you get into the, the the smelling it and trying to get the flavor do you just like to pour it on ice and just take it take it neat well no no well put it this way you you definitely want to put ice or a little bit of water in it you okay. don't you don't want to drink it straight okay and that i got directly from the distillers all right all right okay. because they, they they say you cannot achieve the full Remember Hagen Dazs achieving the full flavor bouquet? You can't do that if you don't add a little bit of water to cut the scotch. All right. So even if it's just a drop or two, you've got to put some water in it. Hey, I really appreciate it. Thanks, Dad. I mean, that is, this is good stuff. I'm going to check out Bevmo and try to show up my boys a little bit and show them what, uh, what drinking top shelf is all about. Now, believe me, Nate, if you buy this bottle, I know it's expensive, but it will change your world. Well, you know, I'm all... 
I'll tell you oh, something yeah. else, too. When it's really good like that, you don't drink as much. No. Yeah, you probably probably doesn't give you a hangover either. Oh, well, that that's, goes without saying. Drink the good stuff and you don't get a hangover. Mm. Boss, when you drink less, you're less likely to get a hangover. Oh, that's... It's true. This it's stuff true. is so good. And by the way, they're not an advertiser. They're a very small distillery with no advertising budget. So it's, I'm, I have no vested interest in promoting them. I'm just telling you. I've tasted it, and it's fantastic. All right? <laughs> See, I impressed you. He had run right out to Bevmo. He had no time left. That or his cell phone minutes ran out. He has prepay. <laughs> One eight hundred five eight hundred. He wants to get a fifty dollar bottle of single malt scotch. <laughs> sure, they've got those those little bottles I get on the airplane. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, that's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to uh, AJ on the Tom Like His Show with wide open telephones on this Friday. Hello. Hello. How are you, Pop? Great, son. I got a couple of questions for you. I've been dating this girl. And I just recently found out she's been cheating on me. And I know what to do, and all my friends are telling me to run away. But, uh, dude, I, for some reason, I just keep going back like a, you know, dog in heat. Well, why, why can't you just have a friend with benefits? Why can't you just concede that this is someone who is not capable of having a committed relationship, and you're there because of the sex? You're... I, I know all these answers, but my heart is not willing to give me these well, answers. Well, then, then you you have issues. I'd recommend therapy. You you you've got a problem. <laughs> are you la why are you laughing? Because I, I I don't think I have a problem. You but, have you know. a problem if you keep going. First of all, if you're in love with somebody who treats you badly, yeah. that that calls for therapy. Okay. I'm in therapy. Nice. So I'm telling you, that's the kind of thing you need to talk about with a therapist. Okay. And I recommend you do it sooner than later because, you know, I learned now a long time ago, and I think I probably learned it in therapy. There are some people who don't want to be committed. I might be one of those people, by the way. And uh, so what you do is you have friends with benefits. All right. And and by the way, then the honesty level in the relationship goes way up because once she knows that the two of you are doing whatever you want to do and it's totally cool, she'll tell you everything she's doing. And you can tell her what you're doing. I, I, you know what? I, I've tried this, but uh, it, it just doesn't work. Well, if you're not willing to try therapy, then I guess you're the guy who likes to keep hitting himself in the head with a hammer, even though it hurts. <laughs> Damn, that's harsh. That's, that's what true. it is. Yeah, you're right. So you don't want a solution. You like pain. Well, to you, li degree. you yeah. like pain. Yes, you do. If you didn't like pain, you'd go someplace where you could stop the pain, but you won't. All right. So that's the first thing to do is to uh, figure out what to do. Well, I, like I say, you've got two courses of action. Keep hitting myself with the head. With the one, go, go uh, one, go to a therapist, or two, keep hitting yourself in the head with a hammer and learn to live with it. I mean, or, uh, again, if you if you can't have sex with someone without falling in love with them, you're a girl. You're a little girl. Okay. A real man can have sex without uh, emotions getting involved. All right. Uh, God knows I've done it. Oh, no, I've done it, too. Don't get me wrong. Just ask the women who still call me. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, all right. Well, thank you. By the way, do you think she was loving you while she was uh, getting boned by uh, some other guy? Were they, was she thinking about you? No. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, she was thinking about you at the time, how much she loves you. Yeah, you're right. Right. Oh, yeah, she really loves you. <laughs> All right, Mr. Tom. Thank uh, you. It's been a while for me to, you know, try to get the whole thing to talk to you. But you know what? Dude, they, got you some... they got cheap hammers at, uh, at uh, Walmart, by the way. You can get them from China. They're fantastic. All right, I'll, I'll just look start, that. Just start swinging away. All right. Thank you very much, man. Uh, thank you, I guess. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Eris on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Eris. Tom, I am so tired of these idiot Palin lovers. 
After eight years of a retarded president, you'd figure they would realize we don't need another one in office. Yes. And they all use this argument that she was a governor. Our governor is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Jesse the Body Ventura was a governor. How is that a valid argument at all? People vote for who they like, not who's qualified. In a place like Alaska, you figure there's a maybe a handful of kind of good-looking people they could vote for, and she got lucky, and they voted for her. In a tiny state? Yeah, that's what I meant. I'm sorry. I'm just so frustrated with all these people who are following this complete moron because they think it's some obligation of their faith or, or something. I just don't understand it. Well, you don't have to understand it. She's going to lose. Tom, 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 like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. It's the Tom Likas Show. Tom like a show of wide open telephones at one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. Tommy on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Is that a question or a statement? Hi, Tom. Sorry, I wasn't sure you were on the phone. So I've heard your other your couple other calls with the single malt scotch question and the dumb guy that, you know, doesn't know how to dump his girlfriend's cheating on us. I figured I'd call and ask you a little question. All right, go ahead. Okay, so I met somebody about a month ago on the freeway, ironically enough, which is a first for me. <laughs> He's a pretty awesome guy. How do you meet someone on the freeway? It's a really cool story, actually. I was I was driving home unexpectedly because I'm supposed to be on tour, not even really supposed to be in town, and we, I passed him and I waved, and he kind of looked at me and I thought, wow, this guy's really cute. <laughs> and he basically... Um, caught back up to me 20 minutes later and passed me and slowed down and we made eye contact. We slowed down traffic to like 40 miles an hour and he kind of shrugged his shoulders, rolled down his window. He's like, where are you going? I said, well, I'm, I'm getting off. I have to clean my apartment. And he said he was getting off at, at a certain location. So he said to follow him. And I said, no, no, follow me. I'm getting off first. So we pulled over. He followed me and we talked for about an hour and a half. He was late to work. Um, I was late to meeting one of my girlfriends before I had to clean my apartment, so it's kind of a really cool story, and I unexpectedly met this very awesome, awesome guy who, by the way, loves listening to you as well, mm. and he basically is going through a divorce right now, a pretty rough divorce. Oh, darling, it's the zero tolerance policy. Yeah. The, the F word, even the past tense, has not yet been approved for radio broadcast. Uh, go to our MySpace. It's MySpace.com slash Tom Likas. And in my blog, I list all the words you can't ever say on the air without getting hung up on. They're all there. That one's in there, by the way. Just go to MySpace.com slash T-O-M-L-E-Y-K-I-S, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Sorry about that, dear. 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Bill on the Tom Likas Show. How you doing, Tom? Great. Got to tell you, I love the no-nonsense policy. The zero tolerance policy. We're done. We're done trying to teach people uh, on the air uh, what words can be said. If if your parents didn't teach you manners, uh, you go to our website and it's all laid out for you now. Wow, that's great. Well, I got to tell you, the reason I'm calling you, uh, you know, I, I, I've listened to you and I, I love your no nonsense approach to to life and dealing with issues. Um, you know, frankly, I think that it's something that people don't have enough of in the world right now. And as I was telling your screener, you know, I, I, I feel like I live 200 years too late because back in the day... Were you telling that to my country. screener? Yeah. Hang on a second, Dean. Let's get Dean oh. in here. Let's see what you've been uh, telling the screener. Hang on a second here. It was a whole day, dude. <laughs> It Dean, it's been day. quite some time. Sit down, have a seat, relax. Uh, Bill, Bill's in Reno, Nevada, and apparently yeah. uh, you and Bill just had a scintillating conversation. Oh, it was incredible. And uh, Bill was about to relay that to me, but he insisted on telling me about your conversation, so I figured we'd call you in here to get the results. Well, well what did you two talk about? Well, Bill feels that this country has been ruined through uneducated people and morons. That that is, he felt that the reason why the country is in this predicament is because 
of morons. Was like, he referring to anyone in particular? Well, no, not not in particular. He was just saying the uneducated voter, and that this was not what our founding fathers had intended at all. Those, you, look, you look like you're about to lose it. I can't help it. I we almost made it the whole day without having some a clown get out there and say, "Oh, I was telling your screener." And for anybody that doesn't know radio etiquette, please act like you've never talked to me. I mean, it's really a simple process. And I've noticed, and you're right, Tom. You talk about television. Nobody says on the Jay Leno show. Well, I was talking to one of your producers uh, in, in the pre-interview. Pre -interview, in the pre-interview today, Jay, I was talking about that 1932 uh, Studebaker I own. And I, you know what I told the the the, the guest booker? I, here's what I said. I said Jay is really gonna love hearing about this car because it's like it's perfect. It looks like it's never been driven before. And we were talking about that backstage before I came up. No one ever says that. Nobody says that, and uh, it only seems to happen here for some reason. And really, if you knew the amount of time I spent with Bill, it was rather minimal because he started talking about the founding fathers, and I'm an idiot, so I went to Arizona State. I don't know much, so you say founding fathers, and I glaze over. That's that's right. for you to handle. You're the guy. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, I guess uh, Bill doesn't know etiquette, and, of course, I get dragged in here and thrown right in so front of the that's, bus. that's all he said, right? Pretty much that's the gist of it. All right. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> well, 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 there you go. <laughs> Dean is actually angry at Bill. <laughs> Takes it so seriously. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Jose on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing, I'm sir? I'm doing okay. All right. This, this is the story, Tom. Um... I'm 30 years old, been married for like 15 years, and uh, about a week ago I got caught, you know. Um, caught doing throwing, what? Throwing around with this 22-year-old chick, and uh, you know what? I don't know what to do right now. I got thrown out of the house yesterday, so I'm pretty confused because I like both of them. Well, so that's stupid. I mean, if if you like both of them, you shouldn't have gotten married. Right, right. But, you know, that was I got married real young. Stupid. Which is what I tell the guys not to do. Right. So I don't I don't know what to do right now. I need your advice, sir. Well, first of all, I, it, it, look, that's your house, too. You have every right to live in it. So there's no such thing as being thrown out. Don't be a pussy. Well, that's what she told me. She told me that she's going to take everything from me and leave me in the street. Well, but uh, by the way, if she hires an attorney, she will. And if you don't, she might. Right. Yeah, the funny thing, Tom, is that she wants me back. My wife wants me to go back, so I don't know. And I don't know if I want to go back. So what do you want to do? I don't know yet. I don't uh, know how many, how yet. many kids did she talk you into having? Two. Two. All right, so you'll be paying through the nose. You got married at, uh, let me guess, 21? About 23, yeah. 23. So you married 15 years? Right. So you're effed getting divorced in California. You're effed because you'll have to pay her forever. You think it's just like this? It's just like cheaper to keep her then? Well, it is cheaper to keep her. Okay. And what do I do with the other one? Just dump her? Well, I mean, here's the deal. <laughs> uh, if you get caught with her, your wife can divorce you and then make you pay her forever. She now holds all the cards because you gave her all the cards. Right. So and now that you know that, what would you prefer to do? I just rather I just rather stay with her and save my money. Well, there you go. Okay, can you pick me up with a bong riff? Uh, by the way, what would you tell the guys about getting married, Jose? What do you think? What was that? What would you tell the guys listening about marriage? Don't do it. Don't do it. Trust me, it's a living hell. <laughs> there we go. All right, Jose. How did you want to be taken out? With a bong riff. Yeah, here it is. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number on Wide Open Telephones on this Friday on the Tom Likas Show. Antoine, hello. Hey, Tom, how you doing? I'm doing okay. Hey, I just want to talk to you about two things. First of all, I think they uh, did the Democrats a favor. I was so happy when they elected Sarah Palin because I said to myself, they just handed them the victory. That's how I'm looking at it. Because I think if he had a stronger running mate, I think it would have been a tighter race. But 
I don't. I wouldn't have known really if he would pull it off Obama. I think that if John McCain chose Condoleezza Rice to be his running mate, right, he'd be the president in two weeks. He would. You see that? That's how I feel about it. So, in, you know, I, I'm kind of happy all these things are happening to her because every time they try to point the finger at Obama, she comes and puts her foot right back in her mouth. Yep. <laughs> so I'm really happy about that. I uh, love your show, by the way. Second thing I want to talk to you about is the other day, uh, a while back, actually, you spoke about um, is racism dead if they elected Obama? Well, that's not exactly what I said, but uh, to tell you what I did say, uh, the question was, uh, if Obama gets elected, will, and this was something that a black friend said to me, right? Uh, will black people stop complaining about racism? That's it. That's it. I'm sorry I, I quoted you wrongly. Um, I'm a black man. And, Tom, let me tell you something. You know, I think racism will always be around, but black people should look at it as we're making some really big advancement. Anybody that says differently to that, and they're walking around with that chip on their shoulder. You know, I'm sorry all that stuff happened with slavery and all that, but get over it. The only way to, to move forward is to learn from the past and move forward. Racism will always be around. You'll be an idiot to think that it's just going to be squashed. Now, I think Obama being elected or even running for the presidency, that's a big advancement for African Americans that we have made. And to sit back and say, yeah, but this is that, that's just being ignorant. That shows that there will never be enough. We, they can never, white people or whatever could never do enough to appease anybody. It happened, and I really believe in my heart. It's, I think it's a big advancement, and that's how I'm looking at it. And being a black man, I don't care what people say. I'm telling you how I feel. And the ones that say differently, they're really the uneducated ones. Because if you really look at it, 10 years ago, you wouldn't even think this would happen. Even five years ago. Now there's actually somebody that might, well, I think is going to win. Come on. Seriously, the dinner table should be filled with a lot more saying. You should be telling your kids, you see... Even this is, ha is happening to us now. This is, the ta this, is, this is what the change everybody's been looking for amongst African Americans, and I believe some white people as well. You know? I heard that, by the way. Okay, I'm off. <laughs> Thank you, Antoine. Tom Like It. 1 800 5800 Tom. Tom Like It. 1 800 5800 866. The Tom Like It Show. From Hollywood, the Tom Likas Show with wide open telephones on this Friday at 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Nathan on the Tom Likas Show. Hey. Hello. Yeah. How you doing? Good. I was calling because I've been kind of confused. That I'm in the middle. Like, I work, I drive around Southern California, and I see, I live in Hollywood, so I see no on Prop A all day long, no on Prop A, and I thought it was resolved, and obviously it's not. And now I'm hearing from you that it has a lot to do with the Mormon community. Well, yeah, first of all, it'll be resolved on Election Day, but uh, Proposition 8 will. Well, how many times can they keep trying to, you know, undo this? Unravel that? It what depends on how much money they want to spend. Well, what is it that they're changing? I hear that by voting yes, it's actually, like, manipulating our rights or something. like well, but, some type of well, no, 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 don't listen to the commercials. Here's what it is. Oh, I'm not. This is Gay this marriage is legal. Listening. Gay oh. marriage is legal. Proposition 8 would overturn it. So if you vote yes, you're voting to overturn gay marriage. If you vote no, you're voting to keep it the way it is. So if you if you like gay marriage, vote no. If you're against gay marriage, vote yes. Okay, and then another thing, like that was just like I guess the the simple question: What's the craziest thing you've heard about Mormons? Honestly, like I've got a few that they I wear know, that they know. wear consecrated undergarments, magic oh, that's underwear. Mine was too, but really, that's not crazy. That's genius because that means you just make the underwear and you sell it to your own little family. Well, it's genius for the people selling the the undergarments, but uh, you know, let's face it: when I'm getting laid, I want the chick to be naked. Well, what if I have sex through like a hole in a sheet? <laughs> like, well, that, that's also crazy. Yeah, I don't know. They're ridiculous. But you know that they like have like a couple different heavens, and they have so many babies just so they can feel like the spirit bodies. Like, yeah, they're the populating. Uh, they're called Latter Day Saints because uh, they want to populate other planets with with saints. Well, if they like, or the Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints, why is there no crosses on top of their church? Well, but see, again, there are questions as to whether that's even a Christian religion. But uh, they will say it is, and there are many Christians who say it isn't. And I, as an atheist, think oh, they're all crazy. 
Okay, last thing. Is it just pretty much an appeal is what they're busting? Like, they're trying to just just disagree with what happened, and now they want to try and... The Mormons are trying to just reverse what already it's happened. The Mormon, it, it's the Mormon... It, by the way, it's not the Mormon church. It is uh, uh, Mormons who are individually motivated uh, to fund this campaign to try to uh, uh, essentially put Mormon values in there. Well, the last thing I want the Osmonds out... That's, that's the last thing I have to say about uh, it. The all, Osmonds? But... Are, they, uh, are they in office? No, they're just, I want them out of the state. Oh, I see. I don't, th- I don't think they live here anyway. <laughs> All right, well, then I'm happy now. We're good. All right, Nathan, thank you for the call. 1-800-5-800-TOM. It's Joe on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello? Is that a question or a statement? No. Hi, Tom. How are you? Great. Um, I just wanted to call because I hear so many fools that call you up and try to make statements statements on your show and you almost let them anybody wants to make a statement including you no 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 i'm talking about for palin and mccain they try to sneak their little snaky way in when i work for the register of voters and when they talk about acorn and they talk about voter fraud and all this baloney if they only knew what a ballot goes through to be counted number one and registration a registration card what it goes through how many hands and how many bosses has to go through before it can even get into the computer so um i just wanted to let people know that when they say that they've seen something on the internet and they think it's so and they call you and um with these silly little trying to get their little wannabe for McCain and Palin, it's it's just not it's just not so. What it are you, just doesn't happen. I, I, re, I hate to say this. I really don't understand what you're talking about. I'm talking about, well, you had a female. Well, that's the best word I can call her uh, the other day that called you and was saying something about how Obama wasn't a citizen and... And something about, uh, a, you know, another thing about ACORN and getting that, you know, getting that in and stuff like that. And I work for the Register of Voters. I work 12, 14, 16 hours a day. I work on the 4th of November and all voting days. I work 24 hours a day to make sure that this election runs through perfectly and i just want people to know that when these people call it's an insult to us because we work hard there okay and okay what was she talking art was i missing something there this is the woman who called about all the crazies who call the show <laughs> you let all those crazies and, and nuts on the air one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. <laughs> Let's say hello here to Joe on the Tom Likas show. What's up, Tom? Not much. You are the ultimate. I got a story for the, you. The ultimate? Yeah. Is that like the ultimate cheeseburger? You're the freaking best. Well, thank you. <laughs> Get this, dude. I'm forty six years old. And these guys calling in that are 20 and worried about their wives and stuff. I separated from her about a week ago. Right. And on a Thursday, I called her. No answer. And so on a Friday, I went to the house. Car was in the garage. She wouldn't answer the door. Had a side door on the garage that I left open all the time. Yeah. Walked in. She was in bed with another man. Of course she was. And so I tapped her on the face. I said, hey, what's up? <laughs> she looked up at me like she's still in a daze. And I tapped her again. I said, hey, what's up? And the guy woke up. <laughs> and so I grabbed him and started pounding him. Oh, boy. And then the... Master bedroom there had two big uh, closets. He ran into the closet, 
Really? Was he naked? Yeah, <laughs> big time. <laughs> I said, where's my shotgun at? And she goes, no, 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 no. I said, give me my shotgun. I'm going to blow this song gun away. Make a long story short, I pounded him again in the closet, and then I left. Guess what I got? Uh, the police at your front door? No. I got a phone call on my cell phone. She was calling me. Her car broke down. She was taking him to the hospital. And I told her, I said, hey, best thing you should have done was call AAA because I ain't coming. <laughs> she wanted you come get her? Heck, no, I didn't. Let them dry. <laughs> Let them dry. Love it. Ain't that a good one, Tom? Well, yes, yes. And, and, and nobody uh, called the police, huh? No. Hey, he got spanked, and uh, he just took it. <laughs> he took it a, like a man. He had to take it like a man. Yeah. I broke his jaw and broke his nose and everything else. <laughs> and it was good, Tom. By the way, attention advertisers. You know the deal. As that guy in the Larry H. Parker commercial said, you know the story. one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Alan on the Tom Likas show. Tom Likas, you big pimp, you! <laughs> yes, Alan. Hey, Tom, did you hear, uh, I heard this on the news last night, uh, John McCain's brother, uh, apparently yesterday or the day before, made a 911 phone call during... I guess rush hour traffic, basically complaining about the traffic. Nothing, uh, no I saw that story. Where did that happen? Uh, in uh, Alexandria, Virginia. <laughs> and the 911 operator said, do you know this line is for emergencies only? And apparently he cursed at the operator because they, they said expletive. In he the, cursed uh, at two different operators, according to the story. And I, I think one of the, the operator that he talked to called him back or something. That, that's at least the story I heard on the news last night. Well, because they can. <laughs> I mean, you know, it kind of leads credence to what you're saying about McCain. You know, they're, um, you know, the, I guess the whole family's just uh, a couple blown fuses. They're just a bit cranky. Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the call. I appreciate it, Alan. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at... BlowMeUpTom.com It's the Tom Likas Show.